Teresa has a rectangular pool 30 feet long, 15 feet wide, and 4 feet deep. Teresa fills her pool using city water at a rate of $3.95 per 100 gallons of water. So I'm going to draw out the situation first here. So she has a pool, and this is a rectangular pool, and this rectangular pool is 30 by 15 by 4. So this is 30, 15, and 4. Okay, and the price of the water is $3.95 per 100 gallons. Okay, um, Nancy has a circular pool with a diameter of 24 feet and a depth of 4 feet. So, a circular pool, a diameter of 24 and a depth of 4. So this is 24 and a depth of 4. Nancy fills her pool with a water delivery service at a rate of $200 per 6,000 gallons. So hers is $200 per 6,000 gallons. Oh boy, okay. If Teresa and Nancy both fill their pools six inches from the top of the pool, determine and state who paid more to fill their pool. Okay, and they also tell us the conversion factor for uh, a cubic feet of water to gallons. Okay, so uh, what exactly is the water level then? So I am going to... Uh, draw this out. So I have water here. And the water level is going to be six inches away from the top. So I'm going to do my best here. Do this one more time. So I have this and going this way all right so enough showing off okay so i have that and the 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 depth of the water here then it's six inches away from the top it said i believe right yes so that means it's half a foot away from the top so that means the water level is 3.5 feet both of them, okay? And I'm gonna do the same over here. And it's gonna go one more time. And just one more time. Okay, and then the water over here. All right, so we have this. It's a very similar situation. The water level is at three and a half feet. Okay, so we're going to find the volume of water in both of these scenarios here. So the volume of water is going to be base times width times height. So it's going to be 30 times 15 times 3.5. And let's see what that is. So I'm going to take my calculator. 30 times 15 times 1.5, that is 675 cubic feet. And we will need to convert this into gallons. So 675 cubic feet, should we be multiplying by 7.48 uh, gallons or should we be dividing? And the way to figure that out is, again, one cubic feet or 7.48 gallons per cubic feet, right? So we want the feet to cancel out. So we want feet cubed to be in the denominator and then we want the gallons to be in the numerator because when we multiply this, the feet cubes will cancel and we're gonna be left with gallons. 
So we're going to take 675, multiply that by 7.48. So multiply by 7.48. That is 5049 and gallons. And since we have 5,049 gallons, and it's going to cost 395 per 100 gallons, so now I have 5,049 gallons. And the cost is 395 per 100 gallons, right? So should the 395 go up top or bottom, and where should the 100 gallons go? The 100 gallons should definitely go on the bottom because we want the gallons to cancel, and then we all we want at the end is a dollar figure, right? So the dollar figure should be in the numerator. So we're going to multiply that 5,049 by 395 times 3.95. The cost is going up really fast, right? So uh, that times 19, oh, okay, so times 395, and then we're going to divide by 100. And that's 199.435. So $199.44. So that's the cost, okay, of filling, who's this person? Teresa's pool. Let's find the cost of filling out Nancy's pool. All right. So the volume of a cylinder is base times height, right? The area of the base. So in this case, the area of the base is pi times r, so in this case this is 24, so it's going to be 12 squared times 3.5. Let's figure out what this volume is. So 12 squared times pi times 3.5, that's going to be 1583.36. 1583.36. Cubic feet. We're gonna again go through the same process of converting this into gallons. So 1583.36 cubic feet. So there are 7.48 gallons per one cubic foot. So the cubic feet again will cancel and we're left with gallons. So that times 7.48. And that would be 11,843. 11, uh, 11,843.55 gallons. And we're going to have to figure out what's the cost of this. So 11,843.55 gallons. So the private water delivery service <laughs> is $200 for every 6,000 gallons. So again, it's the same idea. We're going to place the gallons on the bottom, 6,000 gallons, because we want the gallons to cancel. And we're going to place the dollar figure up top, because we want the, uh, at the end for, for there to only be a dollar figure. So we're going to multiply that number by 200 and then divide by 6,000. So we're going to multiply by 200 and then divide by 6,000. $395, $394.79, $394.79. So in the end, Nancy's pool is gonna be more expensive. So Nancy's pool is more expensive. And let me see if I've answered the question completely. Let's see here. It says, uh, determine and state who paid more to fill her pool. So Nancy definitely paid more. There you go.